To me, a very important thing to have people see all this beautiful mirror made by young people. You know, it's a it's something that they done this because, you know, maybe they were very moved by their own family of uh, certain stories that went on. And, and uh, to me, it's heading towards healing for everyone, even the ones who are, uh, who didn't go to school, some of them were affected by because of their families going to that school. Okay, so I planned this mural for a variety of reasons. I wanted the Aboriginal students to feel like they were a, a, more of a sense of belonging to the school, and I wanted them to take pride in their culture, which is reflected through their art. So I actually started everything with the totem pole in the foyer. That was the start of the whole thing. And that, was, um, that sits on unceded territory of the Nunu First Nations. And I did that because I didn't think the students really recognized how important and unique their art really is and how it's collected worldwide. And then lastly, I uh, planned the mural because I wanted the reconciliation process recognized and acknowledged and I thought by doing a mural this large it would be hard to ignore it. So the mural was a couple years in the making. Um, it was about five years in planning I came up with the idea but I had to wait for the right students to come along in order to execute it. The mural included, it included Aboriginal students, international students and any other students who wanted to be a part of it who were in my art classes. Uh, we started this project in the first semester of grade 12 and we worked on it for about two to three months and it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot and we learned about a lot of Aboriginal arts and Aboriginal cultures during the process of creating this art piece. And, like I remember making the sketches for both of them and like I still have them like in my bedroom and you know it's like a really big thing and I also want to do it like you know to contribute myself to the school as well. The grandmother when they're holding each other I got her to wear an orange, orange sweater to kind of represent like the missing not the missing but like the kids that um, passed away in residential schools kind of put that little thing in. Um, the background is supposed to be where I live, Nanus Bay um, I also have the eagle. When I was like, when I was um, researching everything, this it said that the eagle was the bringer of prayers. So I thought, because this is the future reconciliation, I thought it, the best thing to do was to have the eagle sitting in a tree, kind of looking at them, kind of representing that in the future our prayers will be kind of met and successful. For this one, I thought because. The eagle is finally leaving. In my culture, we're told that um, when you pass away, you're no longer hurting, and that <laughs> you're like no longer in pain. So, like the face for me kind of represents the people who passed before us, no longer in pain, <laughs> and smiling a little bit as it goes up with the eagle. I'm glad that uh, the school has allowed this to to go on uh, and working with our, our people and, and this way, the, uh, the, you know, they, they talk about the reconciliation and this is a good part of, uh, part of the message for all our people to hear that uh, the school here is uh, sharing with us uh, something that the children have done along with some of the other staff here in this school. You know, the, the story that goes with it, that's very important. Like uh, certain members, certain staff weren't even uh, survivors, or, but, uh, they're, but they're willing to help us uh, send out a good message today uh, because of the, you know, you know it's, that's the way it is when you work together as people, things will happen if you help one another. And this is what I see happening today. <laughs>